Weird how the narrative has changed so much about this fight. I do feel like when this was first spoken about or even rumoured, I think a lot of people are, oh, AJ beats the boy easily. That, that, that was the narrative. All of a sudden, you heard Eddie there say 60-40, potentially 50-50. Some people are swinging towards Daniel Dubois. I think it's a real pick and fight. It's a real pick and fight between two good heavyweights. Well, right now, we're 168 hours away from the ring walks at Wembley Stadium. It'll be about this time because it's seven lots of 224. Oh, okay. um, and we are literally, they will be stepping into the ring. To, the bell will be going about now, half past 10 at night, 10.40. We will be in the first or second round right now. The anthem, the the, the drama, the yeah. the confetti. Liam Gallagher. Is, oh, confetti's banned now, isn't it? It's not It's not um, environmentally friendly. But um, Liam Gallagher, yeah. maybe Liam maybe, and maybe, Noel. Maybe Liam and Noel. Maybe yeah. we'll be interviewing Noel ringside like I often do. He loves a good fight. Liam likes to start a fight. Maybe Noel finishes it. Um <laughs> Here's the thing for me. The narrative has changed, and the narrative over those next 168 hours, Mr. Adiola Depot, will be that Dubois people put more money on and back yeah. and back and back. And it, the closer we get, the closer people will see it. Yeah, indeed. I mean, it's going to be a fantastic fight. And we've had some good British heavyweight dust ups over the years. I think it's fair to say. I mean, you can go all the way back years ago to Henry Cooper, can't you? I mean, you can go to the 70s, but we've had some good ones. What ones stand out for you? Well, I, I think you've got to go back 31 years almost to the day mm. when Lennox Lewis fought um, Frank Bruno at um, in Cardiff, Cardiff yeah. Arms Park. There were only 27,000 there that night. It was October 1993. Joe Calzaghi's debut, by the way, uh, that night in Cardiff. Um, By the way, very quickly, so, sorry to cut across you. That shows the magnitude of boxing there. You know, like we sometimes like to poo-poo on the numbers in boxing. When you think about that for a second, Frank Bruno was a household name, household name, front page Frank Bruno. Lennox Lewis as well, and you said 27,000. Yeah. Uh, well, yes, but there's reasons for this, and I will now d go narrow and deep for you. So, so here's the thing. Frank Maloney and Panos Eliades... Kelly Maloney, as she now is. Frank, I spoke to him a couple of days ago about this, or her a couple of days ago about this. Um, the the He was Frank Maloney then when I knew him, obviously, and now he's Kelly Maloney, just to be absolutely clear about this. Um, and I always knew him as Frank. Um, so we we talked about the event. They A, they loved the fact, you just said it, Frank Bruno was a household name. Lennox Lewis had beaten Gary Mason, Derek yep. Williams, Glenn McCrory, mm. And finally, he was chalking Frank Bruno. And Bruno was winning that fight for five or six rounds. He was ahead on the cards until Lewis clipped him. The reason they took it to Cardiff, Kelly Maloney now told me, is that they didn't want Bruno to have massive support at Wembley. And they had massive okay. sight fee in Cardiff. Yeah. Had that fight taken place today... That would have been 96,000 at Wembley. Quite easily. Frank Bruno against Lennox easily, Lewis. Easily. Lennox Lewis was just about to win all the fans over by having wiped out Williams, um, McCrory, Gary Mason and Frank, all the stars mm. of the British heavyweight firmament. Because people were still saying at that point, is he Jamaican, is he Canadian or is he British? He won a, a gold medal in the Olympics. I, I still don't think people Canada. could get behind him because of the they accident at the time. They no, do obviously now. Obviously now they do. Of they course, they of love him now. But back then, I don't think they so, could. So, some huge fights. Bugner versus Cooper. Yep. Bugner, Joe Bugner was seen as a Brit mm -hmm. um, against R. Henry, Sir Henry, Henry Cooper. Um, amazing fight. British Commonwealth and European heavyweight titles. I really am going back to before you were born. That was 1971. Um, but since then, Lewis versus Bruno was the first all-British heavyweight title fight. We hadn't had a heavyweight champion for almost 90 years, I like think 99 years before Lennox Lewis. He he shifted the paradigm for us. He also beat Henry Akin one day, who was kind of a Brit as well. Yeah. Um, I think giant. Nigerian yeah, originally, Nigerian six giant. foot seven, yeah. on a night when he got disqualified because he wouldn't fight uh, Lennox Lewis. I think when you look at the other big fights then... Sorry, the uh, biggest one. Sorry, there's the biggest and there's the best. The, the best one, just to cut across you, has to be, without a shadow of the doubt, Derek Chisora, Dillian White, the first one, 2016. I think both of them were fantastic. Fantastic. Whoa. That They both belong in that list, yeah. both of those yeah. fights. Yeah. Um, Fabio Wardley and Fraser Clark latterly belongs yeah, in that agreed. list. That, obviously, we're going to see the rematch in October. Yeah. Amazing fight. So yeah, um, violent. But Joshua against White. Yeah. 
you know, 2015. That was called the Roadman fight. Do you, are you aware of this? Don't know if you're, are you, I'm, I'm serious. Are you aware of no, this? No, go, go, go. It was a Roadman fight yeah. because it was like a fight between two boys from the hood. Well, it was, so it was, it was but it was fight. also, it, it was a kind of a, if I can use this expression, not, not tribal, but North London, South London. Yeah. Um, so West Indian, and Nigeria, and Nigeria, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's quite that, a few so so yeah. th th that's why I was that's where I was going with I it. There was sort of bragging, you. Yeah. bragging rights, bragging rights fight, roadman bragging rights fight. No question about <laughs> yeah. it. Um, hey, hey, and Chisora, yeah. Upton the, Park, the, the the Battle of Munich. I was there that night in the press room when they all when they all brawled. You were there for that. I was there because Chisora had just done twelve rounds of Vitaly Klitschko, uh, and then he's fighting with David Hay in the press conference. That was the greatest build up to a fight I've ever experienced. David Hay was out of that room and on a plane within about an hour. Derek was arrested by the police the next morning in Germany. I love the way David just didn't back down from when Derek was walking over because you know Derek's walking over to fight. You just know what's going to happen. And David was stood there ready. I and unfortunately, he had a bottle in his hand at the time as well. He glassed me. He glassed me. Yeah. When he really just landed a good one. There were hand. tripods being thrown. There were. And all the security guys did was form a cordon around the Klitschkos, mm. you know, so that they didn't get hurt. It was a great night. And like you say, the steel fence between Derek Chisora and David Hay in the build up. And the storyline afterwards that David Hay goes on to manage him in the end and train him and they become great friends. And look where they are now. It's, it's an amazing story. Right, I, a couple more. Um, <laughs> Tyson Fury versus John McDermott. It wasn't for a world title fight. It was John the McDermott English title. Won that fight. I think he John won it as John well. John McDermott won by that round. fight. Yeah, yeah by a round. Yeah. It's weird how people forget that, don't they? Yeah. He won that fight. You've watched that back then. I, yeah. I certainly yeah. have watched that fight. Yeah. I was there that night yeah, at the... He uh, won that fight. At the... Um, where was it? It was at Brentwood Leisure Centre. Crazy, isn't it? Two travellers as well. Crazy. Because the McDermott family, his father Stan was a heavyweight. John was a fought. solid fighter. Yep. Very uh, strong, yeah. gritty, yeah. on yeah. your chest. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, was a, it was an interesting one. Um, I think Lewis and Bruno is comparable to what we're going to get next weekend. But here's a few we didn't get. We never got Hay versus Fury, yeah. which is such a shame. Remember that fight was on twice. Uh, who David Hay and who won Tyson Fury. It's too, no, see, see, you, so you see how you quickly you just said that. No, this is what but I believe. Just, but remember Hay back then and Fury back then. No, okay, Hay was very good with that Hay haymaker right good. hand. And Steve Cunningham. So fast. I, here was the argument at the time. I know the arguments. Steve Cunningham at the time, it was a cruiser with that right down the pipe, yeah, yeah that overhand right. Mm. David Hay used to throw that punch as well and might have done it, but would he have knocked Fury out? I'm not so sure. David Hay, bigger, stronger than Cunningham, faster. It would have been intriguing. It's a shame. I, I still think, say we had a press I, conference I think Tyson Fury, would, around that time, remember, he was only a little bit away from beating Vladimir Klitschko. Uh, I think it would have been a great fight. And we never got, and it was going to happen at one time, even though we've got to go to break. David Hay against Anthony Joshua was on the cards at one time. Do you remember? It was, and then obviously who would have won that? Hay got beat by Bellew. Um, AJ. AJ. I'm like, you're you looking at me because I'm an AJ fanboy. No, I think AJ would have beaten. I'm not looking AJ at just like too, AJ would have been too big, too strong, Adiola too Depot athletic. I don't forget AJ tonight. versus Daniel DeBar for the IBF World Title Fight is right here on Talk Sport. Remember, our expert team of the night are going to bring you closer to the action than anyone else. Plus, you can watch along with us over on the TalkSport Boxing YouTube channel as well. That's AJ versus Daniel Dubois, Saturday, the 21st of September, right here on TalkSport Network and TalkSport Boxing YouTube channel. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.